Here at 9to5Google, we have been super busy preparing for the holiday season, but we always have time to talk about the new Android updates with the release of Android 14 QPR2 Beta 1. I know that was a mouthful, but basically this is an early preview of the March 2024 feature drop update. I will say it is a minor update, which is typical for a Beta 1, and hopefully we start seeing more development as future betas go on. Either way, I just finished installing it on my Pixel Fold, and real quick, let's go over the new changes you should be looking out for. And the biggest change you can see right off the bat is a new splash screen that appears when an update is completed. At first glance, I really like this change as it appears to serve as a means to keep new users in the know of new Pixel features, which makes perfect sense. Pixel devices are heavily advertised as ever evolving devices that constantly get software updates. So having a little reminder like this after a fresh install is perfect. You're also prompted to send diagnostic data to Google as well, if you so choose. Another interesting change is actually a new feature in my book or an expansion of a current feature with the built-in screen recorder. By default, you have the choice to record the entire screen, but now in QPR2 Beta 1, you have the option to record the screen of an individual app. To access this, just start a recording session, hit the single app option, and from there, a new UI selection screen will open up where you can pick from your recents or the app drawer, which is a nice touch as a whole. Moving on, Google introduced a ton of UI changes in QPR2 that we can get into real quick. For starters, large screen users should notice a slight taskbar redesign. At first glance, it's overall the same, but now the app drawer icon has been tweaked to include a little magnifying glass, most likely to be more obvious to users that you can do Google searches from the taskbar. I should mention this functionality has been expanded too, so in previous versions, you could only use search in the app grid from the home screen. Now in QPR2, you can use that search menu from inside app applications as well. The volume slider also got some very minor UI tweaks too, where the indicator is much more obvious on how high the volume can go, with some material U color sprinkled in. And app package names now show up in the app info section. Nothing crazy, but small change nonetheless. On top of that, there are a ton of bug fixes and confirmed known issues like at a glance widget sometimes showing weather for the wrong location or issues with the fingerprint scanner not giving haptic feedback. I won't get into all all the known issues here, but I left a link in the description if you want to see the new changes as we discover them on the 9to5 Google website. Performance wise, it's still a little too early to tell if anything has changed since I've only had it installed for a few hours. So far, everything has been fine, but it's not enough changes here to risk you installing it on your own devices just yet. And guys, that's pretty much it with QPR2 Beta 1. As I said in the beginning, it was really a minor update, not a lot of changes here, and hopefully we'll have some new exciting features to report on as the betas go on. I will say though, rumor has it we might be able to remove the at a glance widget, which is something me and many other users have been asking Google to do for quite a while now, so I'm looking forward to seeing that if it actually comes. Either way guys, let me know what you think of this incredibly minor QPR beta. Were you expecting more? Is there anything you were hoping Google will implement in future betas, leave a comment and let me know, but either way guys, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.